Now we're going to look at a cervical spine MRI of a patient with arm pain. The patient doesn't have much neck pain and he has no spinal cord dysfunction. In this MRI, again, you can see the spinal cord in the center surrounded by the white cerebral spinal fluid or water and the vertebral bodies and the discs. You can see a small disc bulge here and smaller disc bulges here and here. Since there's no real compression of the spinal cord, the patient has no spinal cord dysfunction symptoms. But if we do come to the right side, we can see these spurs that are compressing out of the canal at these two levels, and those are the spurs that are catching the nerve root on the right. We can look at it from the top down view, and we come up to the first level at C23. Again, spinal cord is clear the white CSF water around it. These are the nerve exit holes here and here. The C23 level looks normal. We march down to the C34 level, and again, spinal cord has room. The nerve holes have room. This one's a little tight, but still plenty of room. Come down to C4 or 5 again. The nerve holes are free. The spinal cord is free. Come down to C5, 6, and here we see a nice big spur on the right side the left nerve root is exit exiting quite nicely. The right nerve root here is compressed by this spur, and this is one of the spurs causing this patient right arm pain. We can pass by this level and go to the next level at 6-7, and again see the same thing. The left nerve hole is free, there's a big spur on the right nerve hole, and this nerve is compressed, and this is what's causing him the arm pain from the C7 nerve. This is a side-by-side -side example of a normal level of the cervical spine and a level where there's nerve compression. Again, we noted before this nice large spur is compressing the exiting nerve root right here where the nerve root on the opposite side is open. Here we can see again the vertebral body, the spinal cord, where both nerve roots are free and clear and there's no compression in either foramen. So in this particular case, this spur is what's causing this patient's neck pain and arm pain.